Kristen Don Chenoweth is an American actress and singer, with credits in musical theater, film, and television. In 1999, she won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Musical for her performance as Sally Brown in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown on Broadway. In 2003, Chenoweth received a second Tony Award nomination for originating the role of Glinda in the musical Wicked. Her television roles include Annabeth Schott in NBC's The West Wing and Olive Snook on the ABC comedy drama Pushing Daisies, for which she won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series in 2009. She also starred in the ABC TV series GCB in 2012, played Lavinia in Trial and Error in 2018 and was the antagonist, Mildred Layton, in the Apple TV Plus musical comedy Schmigadoon. Chenoweth sang gospel music as a child in Oklahoma and studied opera before deciding to pursue a career in musical theater. In 1997, she made her Broadway debut in Steel Pier, winning a Theatre World Award, before appearing in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown and Wicked. Her other Broadway roles were in The Apple Tree in 2006, Promises, Promises in 2010 and On the Twentieth Century in 2015, for which she received another Tony Award nomination. She has also appeared in five City Center encores, off-Broadway and regional theater productions. Chenoweth had her own sitcom, Kristen, in 2001, and has guest starred on many shows, including Sesame Street and Glee, for which she was nominated for Emmy Awards in 2010 and 2011. In films, she has played mostly character roles, such as in Bewitched, The Pink Panther and RV. She has played roles in made-for-TV movies, such as Descendants, done voice work in animated films such as Rio 2 and The Peanuts Movie along with the animated TV series Sit Down, Shut Up and Bojack Horseman, hosted several award shows, and released several albums of songs, including A Lovely Way to Spend Christmas, Some Lessons Learned, Coming Home, the Art of Elegance and for the Girls. Chenoweth also wrote a 2009 memoir, A Little Bit Wicked. Early life Chenoweth was adopted when she was five days old by Junie Smith Chenoweth and Jerry Morris Chenoweth, both chemical engineers from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, a suburb of Tulsa, and named Christy Don Chenoweth. She has stated that she is of one-quarter Cherokee ancestry and that she eventually met her biological mother. At an early age, she performed gospel songs for local churches. A performing highlight of her childhood was a solo appearance at the Southern Baptist Convention National Conference at the age of 12, where she performed the Evie song, Four Feet Eleven. The chorus begins, I'm only four feet eleven, but I'm going to heaven, in height. After graduating from Broken Arrow Senior High School, where she participated in school plays, Chenoweth attended Oklahoma City University, where she was a member of Gamma Phi Beta Sorority. She earned a bachelor's degree in musical theater in 1990 and a master's degree in opera performance in 1992 studying under voice instructor and mentor, Florence Birdwell. While at OCU, Chenoweth competed in beauty pageants, winning the title of Miss OCU and was the second runner-up in the Miss Oklahoma pageant in 1991. In 1992, Chenoweth participated in a studio recording of The Most Happy Fella. While she was in college and working towards her master's, Chenoweth performed at the Lyric Theater in Oklahoma City, among other regional theaters, in roles like June in Gypsy, Liesel in The Sound of Music, Fran in Promises, Promises and Tuptim in The King and I. As she completed her master's degree, Chenoweth participated in several vocal competitions and was named Most Promising Up-and-Coming Singer in the Metropolitan Opera National Council auditions, which came with a full scholarship to Philadelphia's Academy of Vocal Arts. Two weeks before school started, however, she went to New York City to help a friend move. While there, she auditioned for the 1993 Paper Mill Playhouse production of the musical Animal Crackers and got the role of Arabella Rittenhouse. She turned down the scholarship and moved to New York to do the show and pursue a career in musical theater. Career theater after Animal Crackers, Chenoweth continued to appear in regional theater productions, such as Babes in Arms at the Guthrie Theater in Minneapolis, and Phantom, also taking roles in off-Broadway productions like Louisa in The Fantastics, and Christie in Box Office of the Damned. In 1997, she appeared as Hyacinth in the Roundabout Theater Company production of Moliere's Farcical Scappin, earning her first New York Times review, with Ben Brantley writing, Kristen Chenoweth's sob prone ingenue is delightful. She made her Broadway debut in the spring of 1997 as Precious McGuire in the musical Steel Pier by Candor and Ebb, for which she won a Theatre World Award. In 1998 she appeared in the City Center Encores. Staged concert of the George and Ira Gershwin musical Strike Up the Band as Ann Draper and created roles in the original Lincoln Center Theatre production of William Finn's A New Brain. Ben Rimelower, in Playbill, wrote, It's unlikely anyone will equal Kristen Chenoweth in the role of, Nancy D., the waitress. In 1999, Chenoweth performed in the Broadway revival of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown as the title character's little sister, Sally, a character that was not present in the original production. She won the Tony and Drama Desk Awards for Best Featured Actress in a Musical. Later that year, she starred on Broadway in the short-lived comic play Epic Proportions, followed by starring as Daisy Gamble in the Encores, production of On a Clear Day You Can See Forever in February 2000. 
After this, Chenoweth split her time between stage and TV or film roles and released her first solo album, Let Yourself Go. In 2002, she performed in the City Center Encores. 10th Anniversary Bash. In October 2003, she returned to Broadway in the musical Wicked, as Glinda the Good Witch. She was nominated for a 2004 Tony Award as Best Leading Actress in a Musical for her performance. Her co-star Adina Menzel won the award. Chenoweth was also nominated for the Drama Desk Award and the Drama League Award for this role. Ben Rimelower, in Playbill, wrote that, for Glinda, the gold standard was unquestionably and indelibly set, by Chenoweth's performances. After playing Glinda for nine months, Chenoweth left Wicked, on July 18, 2004, soon joining the cast of The West Wing in Los Angeles. The Wicked cast album earned a 2005 Grammy Award. Chenoweth played Kunigand in the New York Philharmonic revival of Candide, directed by Lonnie Price, in May 2004. The production was also broadcast on PBS's Great Performances. A performance of the rarely sung duet, We Are Women, between Kunigand and the Old Lady, was included in the production. From December 2006 to March 2007, Chenoweth starred on Broadway as Eve in a revival of The Apple Tree with co-stars Brian Darcy James and former fiancé Mark Kudish. She received nominations for the Drama Desk Award and the Drama League Award. She hosted that year's Drama Desk Award ceremony. She appeared in the encores. Semi-staged production of Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein II's Music in the Air in 2009. Chenoweth was scheduled to return to the Metropolitan Opera in 2010 to play Samira in John Carigliano's opera The Ghosts of Versailles. The Met cancelled the expensive production in 2008 as the U.S. economy weakened. Chenoweth starred as Fran Kubelik in the 2010 Broadway revival of the musical Promises, Promises, opposite Sean Hayes, which opened on April 25, 2010. The songs, I Say a Little Prayer, and, A House is Not a Home, were added for her to sing. Chenoweth and Hayes remained in the cast until the show closed on January 2, 2011, although she missed performances from December 29, 2010, to January 1, 2011 to perform a New Year's Eve concert at Walt Disney Concert Hall on December 31, 2010. She played televangelist Tammy Faye Bacher in a reading of the musical Rise in 2011. Chenoweth played Lily Garland in a Broadway revival of On the 20th Century, opposite Peter Gallagher, which began previews on February 12 and opened on March 12, 2015, for a 22-week limited engagement through July 19, 2015, at the Roundabout Theatre Company. Ben Brantley of the New York Times wrote that Chenoweth uses histrionics to create one of the most virtuosic portraits in song ever on Broadway. The vocal vocabulary she deploys here ranges from jazz baby brass to operatic silver, often in a single number, and she switches among them with jaw-dropping ease. And every perfectly weighted note is set off by an impeccably exaggerated gesture. She was nominated for a Tony Award and won a Drama Desk Award for her performance. Television after a guest appearance on Late Line, a role in the short-lived television series Paramour, and several roles in television films such as Annie, Chenoweth starred in her own NBC sitcom, the semi-autobiographical Kristen in 2001. It was short-lived, with 13 episodes filmed, but only six aired before it was cancelled. Chenoweth appeared in the lead role of Marion in the 2003 television film, The Music Man, opposite Matthew Broderick. She also guest starred on such shows as Frasier, Sesame Street and Ugly Betty. In 2004, Chenoweth began playing the recurring role of media consultant Annabeth Schott in The West Wing. For her performance, she was nominated twice, along with the cast, for a Screen Actors Guild Award. She appeared in the final two seasons of the program through 2006. Chenoweth had been considered originally for the role of Ainsley Hayes, but she had already accepted her role in Wicked. From 2007 to 2009, Chenoweth played Olive Snook in the television series, Pushing Daisies. For her performance, she received critical acclaim and was nominated two years in a row for an Emmy Award, winning in 2009 as Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. The series was cancelled after two seasons. In 2009, Chenoweth lent her voice to the animated comedy series Sit Down, Shut Up, as Miracle Grow, a science teacher who does not believe in science. The series lasted just 13 episodes. Later that year, Chenoweth began a recurring role as April Rhodes in Glee, singing several songs, earning enthusiastic notices. The character is a former member of the Glee Club who never finished high school and ended up hitting rock bottom. A review in USA Today observed, her presence may not make much sense, but if it means hearing Chenoweth sing, we can put up with any explanation the show cares to offer. She received a Satellite Award for Outstanding Guest Star. In 2010, Chenoweth returned to Glee as April Rhodes, singing more songs. The Los Angeles Times Review commented, The best part about, Home, was undoubtedly the return of Kristen Chenoweth as April. From her spunky duet of Fire with Shoe, to the heart-achingly lonely coup of, One Less Bell to Answer, which segued into a fantastic reprise of, A House is Not a Home, and of course her bone-chilling take on Home I fell in love with her again. She was nominated for both 2010 and 2011 Emmy Awards for her performances on Glee. Chenoweth returned again to Glee in Rumors in 2011, and for its 100th episode in 2014.
In 2011, Chenoweth joined the cast of a pilot for ABC called Good Christian Bitches as a character named Carlene Cockburn. ABC picked up the show and changed the title to GCB. The series debuted in 2012 but lasted only one season. Chenoweth generally sang a song in each episode. In 2012, she guest starred in an episode of the sitcom Hot in Cleveland, titled The Gateway Friend. Chenoweth played a recurring role as a political reporter in the fourth season of The Good Wife. However, she soon left the show because of serious injuries suffered on the set, where she sustained a skull fracture, broken nose, spinal and rib injuries and cracked teeth. She appeared in the 2012 season opener and returned in a short scene for another episode. In 2013 and 2014, she made two appearances as Brittany Gold on the TV series, Kirstie. From 2014 to 2019 she appeared in five episodes of the animated series Bojack Horseman. Chenoweth played Maleficent in the live-action Disney Channel original movie, Descendants. The Entertainment Weekly reviewer said that, Chenoweth stole much of the show. It drew the largest cable TV movie audience of 2015 to that date. Later that year, Chenoweth appeared in an episode of I Get That A Lot, posing as a waitress, and co-hosted the 69th Tony Awards, for which she was nominated for another Emmy Award. Chenoweth played Velma Von Tussle in NBC's Hairspray Live, in 2016. In 2017, Chenoweth played the role of Easter in the Stars TV series American Gods. In 2018 on Trial and Error, she appeared as Lavinia Peck Foster, an eccentric heiress accused of her husband's murder, who hires Josh Siegel and associates to defend her. She participated in a 2018 NBC broadcast, A Very Wicked Halloween, hosting and singing popular and other numbers to celebrate the 15th anniversary of Wicked on Broadway. The same year, she appeared as a guest on another NBC special, Darcy Lynn, My Hometown Christmas. In March 2019, Chenoweth appeared on British TV as a judge on an ITV special, All Star Musicals. She and Elaine Page also both performed, I Know Him So Well, a six-episode Food Network television competition show, derived from the game Candyland, premiered in November 2020, hosted by Chenoweth. In 2021 she appeared as the villainous Mildred Layton in the Apple TV Plus parody musical comedy television series Schmigadoon. Later that year, she joined The Voice Season 21 as advisor to Ariana Grande's team. Film Chenoweth made her film debut in Topa Topa Bluffs in 2002 playing, Patty. After a few years away from film, she returned to the big screen in the 2005 film version of Bewitched, directed by Nora Ephron, as Maria Kelly. In 2006, Chenoweth played supporting roles in five films, The Pink Panther, RV, Running with Scissors, Deck the Halls and Stranger Than Fiction. On February 24, 2008, Chenoweth sang, That's How You Know, from the film Enchanted at the 80th Academy Awards in the Kodak Theater. She also voiced Rosetta, the garden fairy in the 2008 animated film Tinker Bell. Later that year, Chenoweth appeared in the 2008 holiday romantic comedy film Four Christmases, playing the sister of Reese Witherspoon's character. In 2009, Chenoweth starred as a «suicidal prostitute» in the indie drama Into Temptation, written and directed by Patrick Coyle. The film was screened at the Newport Beach Film Festival and was later released on DVD. Also in 2009, Chenoweth reprised her voice role of Rosetta in Tinker Bell and The Lost Treasure and filmed the Disney comedy You Again. She voiced Gabby, a poisonous frog, in the 2014 animated film, Rio 2. In 2015, she appeared with Jennifer Lopez and Ryan Guzman in the thriller film The Boy Next Door and voiced Fifi, Snoopy's love interest, in the Peanuts movie. She voiced Princess Sky Star in the 2017 animated film My Little Pony and voices Abby the Mouse in the animated movie The Star. Other media Chenoweth often appeared on A Prairie Home Companion. On August 27, 2008, Chenoweth released an internet video with Funny or Die called Intervention with Kristen Chenoweth. The video parodied A&E's show Intervention, with Chenoweth starring as a singing, dancing interventionist. The song in the video was composed by Andrew Lippa, with lyrics by Amy Rhodes, who also wrote the script for the video. Chenoweth admitted that she was hesitant about performing the lyrics. In 2010, she appeared in a three-minute video short for Glamour magazine titled, iPad or Bust. She posed for the cover and a photo spread in the March 2006 edition of FHM magazine. In 2011, Chenoweth released her first televised music video on country music television, directed by Roman White, for her song, I Want Somebody. The video for the single peaked at number 19 on CMT's Top 20 Countdown. Recordings and concerts Chenoweth has a distinctive speaking voice, one she has compared to that of Betty Boop. She is a classically trained coloratura soprano, able to sing the note, F6 inches. Among other early recordings, Chenoweth participated in a studio cast recording of The Most Happy Fella in 1992. She was also in the cast recordings of A New Brain and You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown and a studio cast recording of 110 in the Shade. In 2000, she was featured on the album Grateful, the songs of John Bacchino. The next year, with Mandy Patankin, she was featured on the album titled, Kittles. Also in 2001, she released her debut solo album Let Yourself Go, 
which was a collection of standards from the musicals of the 1930s. One of the tracks featured a duet with Jason Alexander. In October 2002, Chenoweth performed songs from the album in concert for Lincoln Center's American Songbook concert series. Ben Rimelower in Playbill, praised the album as a joyous affair. The same year, she appeared as Fanny Bryce in the Actors Fund benefit concert of the musical Funny Girl in New York City. In 2003 in London, she performed a solo concert as part of the Divas at the Donmar series for director Sam Mendes. Later that year, she sang Glinda in the cast recording of Wicked and the soundtrack recording of Disney's The Music Man. Rimelower wrote that Chenoweth, Sparkles, on the album. In 2004, she released her second album As I Am, which was a Christian music album containing various spiritual songs. The album peaked at number 31 on the U.S. Christian Albums Chart. The same year, Chenoweth gave a concert at Carnegie Hall. On January 19, 2007, Chenoweth performed a solo concert at the Metropolitan Opera in New York titled Kristen Chenoweth Live at the Met, making history as only the third musical theater star ever to present a solo concert at that location, following Barbara Cook and Eve Monton. The same year, she was featured in songs with Nathan Gunn on an album titled Just Before Sunrise. The next year, she released her third solo studio album, titled A Lovely Way to Spend Christmas. The album included a duet with John Pizzarelli, and there are several modern holiday tunes, but many traditional carols as well, including The Lord's Prayer. This album has been her bestseller, reaching number 77 on the U.S. Billboard Albums Chart, number 7 on the U.S. Holiday Albums Chart and number 1 on the U.S. Heatseekers Chart. Ben Rimelower, in Playbill, observed that the album, proved an ideal showcase for many gifts. Among many other solo concerts around the U.S., Chenoweth performed her own concert in 2009 with the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra at the Fox Theater. In August 2010, during her nights off from Promises, Promises, Chenoweth recorded her fourth album, a country pop CD titled Some Lessons Learned. Released on September 13, 2011, the album contains songs by Diane Warren, Dolly Parton and Lady Antebellum's Hilary Scott, among others. Chenoweth co-wrote two of the songs. In advance of the album, Chenoweth released the song, I Want Somebody. Ben Rimelower, writing in Playbill, thought that the album, may be Chenoweth's most accomplished. From the TV show GCB, in 2012, Chenoweth released, Blessed Be the Ties That Bind, Jesus Take the Wheel, Prayer of St. Francis, and, This Little Light of Mine. Chenoweth conducted her first U.S. concert tour in the summer of 2012. The reviewer for BroadwayWorld.com wrote, Kristen shines on stage. Less than four months after her July 2012 injury on the set of The Good Wife, Chenoweth returned to the concert stage for a short series of dates in California where she performed, a sagely programmed 90-minute set, which merged pop, Broadway, gospel and country with perky, unforced feeling remarks. Chenoweth's range, timbre and versatility are in peak form, with astonishing top notes, equalized registers and a delicious ability to variegate attack from number to number. In 2013, Chenoweth performed at the Sydney Opera House as part of an Australian concert tour. In 2014, Chenoweth returned to Carnegie Hall with an autobiographical concert, where she sang, as good a rendition of, much more, as we're ever likely to hear. She also made her London solo concert debut at the Royal Albert Hall, where a reviewer's five-star review noted, Chenoweth undeniably knows how to engulf a venue, not only with her powerful, operatic voice but also with her irresistible personality that audience was in the palm of her hands for the duration of the evening. She joined Andrew Lippa in his oratorio I Am Harvey Milk at Avery Fisher Hall on October 6, 2014. In 2014, Chenoweth released an album titled Coming Home. The album charted at number 48 on the Billboard 200 chart. Her Coming Home tour continued into 2017. Chenoweth released her next album, The Art of Elegance, in 2016, which debuted at number 36 on the Billboard 200 and number 1 on the Billboard Jazz Albums chart. One of the songs on the album, I'm a Fool to Want You, was nominated for a Grammy Award for its arrangements. She gave a series of concerts at Broadway's Lunt Fontan Theatre, titled My Love Letter to Broadway, in 2016. In 2017, she gave a concert at the London Palladium, where she put on a spectacular show and simultaneously formed a heartfelt connection with her fans. Chenoweth released the album for the girls on September 27, 2019, which features covers of songs by female performers from various genres that have influenced her. She collaborated with Dolly Parton, Reba McIntyre, Jennifer Hudson and Ariana Grande on the album. In support of the album, she presented a concert series titled Kristen Chenoweth for the girls at the Nederlander Theatre from November 8 to 17, 2019. She plans a 2021 holiday album, Happiness is Christmas. Special events and appearances Chenoweth and the cast of the Broadway musical Wicked performed the song, One Short Day, in the 2003 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. In the 2005 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, Chenoweth performed the song, Oklahoma, while riding aboard the, Oklahoma Rising, float. The float was making the first of three annual appearances commemorating the state of Oklahoma's statehood centennial in 2007. She was the star performer of the opening ceremony of the 2007 Tournament of Roses Parade. 
She sang, Our Good Nature, an original composition written to coincide with the Oklahoma Centennial Celebration and the theme of the parade. In the 2008 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, she performed the song, The Christmas Waltz, from her, A Lovely Way to Spend Christmas, album while riding aboard the, Care Bears Winter Fun Durland, float. She sang with Il Devo as part of Il Devo's Christmas tour on December 15, 16 and 17, 2009, in New York City and December 18 in Boston. She has sung the U.S. national anthem at various sporting events, including the 2010 New York Yankees home opener, at Candlestick Park for the NFL's NFC Conference Championship on January 22, 2012, at the Arizona Cardinals season opener in 2016 and their game at University of Phoenix Stadium against the Seattle Seahawks on November 9, 2017. Also in 2010, Chenoweth hosted the 15th annual Broadcast Film Critics Association Awards on VH1. In 2013, Chenoweth co-hosted the Oscars Red Carpet Live immediately prior to the 85th Academy Awards and also sang the closing number of the ceremony, Here's to the Losers, with host Seth MacFarlane, in which, paraphrasing the original Frank Sinatra song, the two poked genial fun at nominees who had not received awards. Chenoweth was the solo performer in the Live from Lincoln Center feature, The Dames of Broadway. All of them. In July, she hosted the 5th Just for Laughs Gala in Montreal. She also appeared in the 2013 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade performing the song, New York, New York, while riding aboard Royal Caribbean's, A World at Sea, Float. In 2015, she co-hosted the Tony Awards. She appeared as a guest with Andrea Bocelli on some of his 2017-2018 American tour stops. In December 2018, Chenoweth was the guest artist for the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square's Christmas concert in Salt Lake City, Utah. Personal Life in 2009, Chenoweth published a memoir, A Little Bit Wicked. Life, Love, and Faith in Stages, describing her life and career, including her adoption, her turn in Wicked and her time in Hollywood. Chenoweth suffers from Meniere's disease, an inner ear disorder that can cause vertigo, headaches and nausea, among other symptoms. She has said that during some performances, she leaned on her co-stars to keep her balance, and that it has caused her to miss performances. Chenoweth has spoken publicly about her religious faith. She describes herself as a non-judgmental, liberal Christian. According to the New York Times, when Chenoweth assured her theater fans that she supports gay rights, her Christian base was outraged. She was disinvited from performing at a Women of Faith conference in September 2005. Chenoweth released an album in April 2005, As I Am, a mixture of hymns and contemporary Christian music, with adult contemporary arrangements. To promote the album, she made an appearance on The 700 Club, which upset some of her gay fans. She later said she thought that the Pat Robertsons and Jerry Falwells of the world are scary, and that she regretted appearing on the show. In May 2010, Chenoweth wrote in response to an article in Newsweek by Ramin Setuda, an openly gay writer. Setuda thought that her Tony-nominated Promises, Promises co-star, Sean Hayes, comes off as wooden and insincere in playing the straight character Chuck and that Jonathan Groff has a similar credibility problem in the TV show Glee. He questioned whether any openly gay actor could acceptably portray a straight character. Chenoweth called the article, horrendously homophobic, and criticized Setuda's view as rationalizing the same kind of bullying that gay youths face in high school. Chenoweth argued that audiences, come to the theater to go on a journey, and do not care about an actor's sexual orientation. The story was discussed in media including the New York Times and Los Angeles Times. Chenoweth has dated several men in Hollywood, including producer Dana Brunetti, actors Seth Green, Lane Garrison and Mark Kudish, and producer, writer Aaron Sorkin. In Sorkin's Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, the character of the Christian Harriet Hayes bears significant resemblances to Chenoweth, and the relationship between Hayes and, East Coast liberal Jewish atheist, Matt Albee is modeled after that of Chenoweth and Sorkin. For example, Chenoweth's decision to appear on The 700 Club and her falling out with women of faith were depicted with the Hayes character. Since 2018, Chenoweth has dated Josh Bryant, the guitarist for country band Backroad Anthem. They became engaged on October 27, 2021.